It's Sunday. How you doing today? Glad to see ya. We got our MS660 Blue Thunder on the bench. Because as you know, you're firing saws up and get ready to load them up and go run them. One of them wants to get goofy. Run perfect on the bench. Man, I started, we got a little wood up back, just, just small stuff in the pasture. Uh, it's running out of fuel. Yeah. You would think by now this saw would want to leave, and it don't. And it's been fighting me, but I'm going to win. You watch. I'll tell you what I got. I got a secret for success. This Chinese carburetor, we might be able to fix this. But let's find out. But I'll tell you what it will do. So I've got a 66 mag wall barrel carb. The, we'll probably take this part and make sure everything's just so in it. And... If this one here doesn't act right, I'm going to throw this carburetor on. Uh, I'm not having this. So, I'm just going to talk to you while I'm working on this saw. And, uh, we've had some interesting, yesterday was an interesting day. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, we went to go get some parts for Barbara's Jeep. As you know, we licensed it. Well, what happened is... We found out something kind of interesting. It has two rods in the door. One goes to uh, from the door handle to the latch for the operation of the door handle to open the door. The other one's to lock. Well, when we got the Jeep missing, the uh, inside was it was gone. You know the the door handle was because they break or plastic or nothing to them. So we uh, apparently. The fellow owned this before us. They, they took that out and they found out them rods rattle like crazy when you're going down the road in an old bouncy Jeep. And he removed them. And he told me that uh, it needed a door and a handle. He didn't say anything about them rods. Well, you know what I did? So I calls up junkyard that I kind of know pretty good. Get this young girl there. I that First warning sign. Nothing against young girls in junkyards. But I really like to talk to a mechanic. And I kind of knew she wasn't. And, uh, yeah, there's some pretty good uh, women mechanics out there, too. I know that, but she wasn't one of them. I said, I need these rods for this cheap, blah, blah, blah. Nope, sorry, can't help you. I said, you serious? I know for a fact you got, like, 50 of them out there. But I, I didn't let it go. I'm not driving freaking 45 miles to find out I didn't have a part, because that ain't going to happen. Well, guess what? It's better than that. We have a junkyard that you can go remove your own parts. So we went to that. I'd never been to it before. Uh, it opened up last year or something. And what happened was, yep, we got a 93 Jeep IL-76. Cool. So we get their map. Yeah, you got to have a map for this junkyard, believe me. And uh, so we get the map. Oh, my, you know where aisle 76 was? Now, yesterday was a bad knee day for me. It really was. Oh, all the way to the end. Now, this ain't little. This is a good half mile. And then you turn right and go another quarter mile. And then you get to aisle six, uh, 76, and then you turn left, go about an eighth of a mile. Yep, blue Jeep out there. Boy, it's a pretty color blue. I got to say that. No doors on it. We drove 30 miles just to get to that. So that wasn't a very fun time. And, uh, well, we didn't know what to do. So we went down an hour drive to the next junkyard. Just so that we can uh, get these rods for this Jeep. Barbara ain't going to drive that with no inside door handle because that's the way it is. I don't blame her. I wouldn't want a half-cooked uh, meal. She ain't wanting a half-cooked cheap. So, we deal with it. Laid it in the butt. And, it, uh, we get down there. By this time, my knees hurt pretty good. And then that ride, another hour. Another hour. Yeah, no, we got a 97. Well, 95 is a cutoff here. 
I'm thinking, ah, them doors look the same. I was in the mood. You know what? All we need is rods. We can make them longer or shorter if we have to. No big deal. I didn't want to build them. I really didn't. Uh, you think them kind of projects are going to go real fast. They, they really don't. So they didn't have any. No, they did not. It uh, was quite disappointing. It really was. Trying to get this darn hand out of that. I'll take that screw out of the bottom. I get yakking my jaw and I forget what the heck I'm doing if I don't know the truth. And it's Sunday, so I'm allowed. Now, something I don't have on this bench, I don't believe, is a Phillips screwdriver. So let me go get one. So, anyway, what happened is. We got in the junkyard. Cohen got the put in there. Ninety-seven Jeep. I think the doors are the same. Go back out in this junkyard. That's another one. Let me pull your own parts. And guess what? No doors. So that's three places from where we're at within seventy-five miles. No doors. Well, Barbara had asked me, and this is where women get right. She says, would it just be easier for you to make them? I said, I'd rather, rather not. I says, you know, it's got to be really the right length it does. It's got to have the bends in the right places, made out of the proper material, proper dimension, everything. Okay, so this is the way that rolls. Boy, I tell you, women got this uncanny sense. Well, what do you think about this? And you just dismissed the idea completely. Yeah, how many times you went back to it? And this brings up something else that happened. Which was very interesting. We ended up going for Jeep parts. And I'll tell you what we ended up with. We got our nitro. We found a RC car place. RC cars run on very good grade methanol and nitro. It's nitromethane. Very good. 20% nitro. That's pretty stiff for... I, I wanted to... Initially, it was thinking 10%, but I knew about this. I said, well, 20%'s got to be better, right? The only problem is that's going to take to run 20% nitro... Uh, it's going to take quite a darn bit of fuel. It really is. We're going to have to probably two and a half times amount of nitromethane goes in a minute than what it does just regular gas. But we got a carburetor built that we think will do it. So that kind of makes it a little nicer. I don't see anything on this side of this carburetor. I'd rather run a Chinese because at least you got a hope of the darn high idle going. The minute you put a uh, a good carburetor on one of these with a linkage here. You got to use the steel MS660 linkage if you can find it. Then uh, you got a pretty good thing going. Yeah, I'm jumping all over. I know. Okay, so we got our nitro to run in that nitro saw. 372 with junkyard dog. We're going to run it first on gas. Get an idea where we're at. That helps it break in a little more. You know, we need that. And, uh, we decided that for whatever reason, we don't have a Kentucky Fried Chicken around. Yeah, I know that's good for you. But I like it. So, we're down in Elmira, New York. That's an hour from home. We decided to get Kentucky Fried Chicken. So, we had to go into kind of one of the worst sections of town, because that's where the Kentucky Fried Chicken was. And we got in there, and we got our chicken. Yeah, I know. Nitro and Kentucky Fried and KFC, you know, Kentucky Fried Chicken, I, <laughs> instead of Jeep Parts. What a day, huh? That isn't what happened. It was funny. I'm going to tell you something. I don't give marital advice, because when it comes to women, I don't know nothing. I really don't. I, I wing it. 
Uh, I like living indoors. I, I tend not to piss them off too bad. Uh, I got my own way about it. I just love it. I need to put a metal bed on the front of my freaking bench here on all of them. So that all these things that I drop constantly, I can catch them. We've said that. Well, anyways, on the way there, and this is funny. Give me just a second to get this gasket off. Because I don't want to get distracted. I distract myself too easy in my old age. Uh, geez, I could come up a little, I think. That might be the... Yeah, uh, that's definitely not getting fuel enough. Okay, we might have it. We might have it. We'll find out. Because I'm going to run this saw. Okay, so we're sitting in the red light. Colin's driving. I'm sitting over here on the other side smoking some gum. And uh, <laughs> this sport utility vehicle pulls up. And it's a fairly nice day, so everybody's windows down. And all of a sudden, I hear, hear this young woman's voice raising in this vehicle next to me. She says, but I've never been a wife before. This is my first time. I turned around and I looked. And this man says, well, I'm going to tell you what right now. Now, he ain't only a year or two older than her. He says, this is the way it is. You don't know nothing about marriage, but I'm going to teach you right now. And you're going to start learning this straight, that you will obey me, he says, and what I say goes. He says, you will honor me. He says, that's what marriage is about, and I'm going to teach you this. And the whole time she got her chin up like that, she's crying, and she looked over him. All of a sudden, I could hear it, and I could see it. Women from birth have got this great big cast iron bull deer that when they're married all of a sudden it starts turning and it starts grinding and I heard that before but I didn't recognize it because I was young and I seen the light in her eyes change just like that and what that gear drives is their auto memory recall from this point forward she is going to remember everything he's ever said and done and he's over there running his yap and them eyes have got a freaking dagger in them and I can tell a look on her face she's not going to forget and I, I was going to say something to him hey let me tell you something you know what the, the biggest cause of divorce is don't you you know what it is it's marriage. Mm, shut your mouth, too. All of a sudden, this light changed. This vehicle took off because he passed. On the back glass of this sport the utility, there was his painted balloons and, and just married. No, I was like, uh-oh. Three hours and 40 minutes ago, they got married. And she is going to do something. 22 years, 3 hours and 41 minutes from that moment, she is going to, and I tell it looking at this girl, you know, uh, she's going to throw that back in his face. And by the way, USOB, mm -hmm, do you remember the day we got married? And she's going to recall from that day forward because she's going to get the house, the car, the boat, the dog, the frog, the kids, and everything in his wallet for a long time. And he started that, didn't he? He did. We have to cohabitate. Mutual respect for each other is what lets us get through life. Uh, it ain't a win-lose. Mm -mm, not marriage. Every day when you get up, you're starting over. Don't get that wheel grinding, man. Just don't. Women, I know you're getting a kick out of this. Don't laugh. It ain't funny, man. We know this to be true. We really know this to be true. And if you want marriage advice, seriously, don't ask nobody 
talk to each other about it. That's the best advice you're going to get. Because I don't know nothing about women. Um, yeah, men are from Mars. I, You know, we got this simple little thing. We come in the house, the only thing we're thinking is this light bulb goes up sandwich. Mm-hmm. Another light bulb. Boom. Wow. Be great with a glass of milk. Women are thinking, what's he been doing all day? I didn't get this done. I didn't get that done. I need to go to town. He's holding me up. He got the car keys. Mm -mm. Man sitting there. Sandwich. You guys know. You women know too. I love you for it. I do. I wouldn't have it any other way. Who? You think another man's going to keep a grind like you ask another man something. Hey, Bubba, you think maybe you know, I'll go out and do this thing? Oh, sure, man. That, that'd be great. You go in and ask your wife. Hey, do you think I ought to go do this and that? You might just as well. Well, we hear, sure, great. So we go do that. And then that cast iron wheel grinds a little further, and there's something more hits that memory box. And you didn't know you did that wrong. We have to tune her. You look him in the eye. Yeah, you know. Look him in the eye. If they say, sure, and walk away. Don't do that. Don't. No, 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 no. No. You know what I do? I, I ain't kidding you this. I got it made compared to a lot of people. Barbara's a good good woman. She's a good cook. I, ain't, I don't want to lose her. I love her. But all people have this thing that men are men and women are women. And there's so little line there. Don't cross between each other, you know. And even you women, you don't, don't push a guy too far. Uh, you can get a lot out of him. And maybe he needs to, you know. But when she says, you might just as well, mm -mm, I back right up. And uh, I don't even want to go for a ride, man. I got to go to town. I don't got to go nowhere. Get him out of that environment. Get him off. They're, they're on solid ground, man. I said, come on, Barb, get in the vehicle. Let's go, man. Where are we going? I don't know. Well, we got to go. All right. On the way. Mm -hmm. Yes, dear. Yes, dear. I heard it, dear. Don't let that fly through. Just don't. I mean it. I swear to God. Don't do it. it uh, that's a bad deal. And uh, I'll tell you another thing I do. You know these forest fires all over the country? I'll tell you what caused them. It's because these states don't let, like what we used to do around here, and we still do, a lot of farmers, they'll build little brush fires and let it burn down some of that stuff. You know, clean the woods up. Don't let all that freaking deadfall be there. Just don't. I know a lot of places you can't help it, but around populated areas, it's good to, to, to get in there with chainsaws and let people cut the wood. It really is. They just ain't learned that yet. Well, okay, so they have to make fire breaks. I make fire breaks in my relationship with Barbara every day. Mm -hmm. When I know things are good, don't let things build up is what I'm trying to tell you. When I know things are good, I'll get to teasing her just a bit, just a ribbon, just a joking a little bit. And I'll say something that'll just minorly tick her off. And I do that every day. She knows I'm joking, but... She take it pretty serious at the moment. So every day, I build them freaking fire breaks. Because if I go two weeks or three weeks and everything's been going too good, uh -huh, that cast iron wheel's been a grinding and there's another thing in that box and another thing in that box. And then that, that, that leads to about five heated minutes on both of our parts. Because I'll shut up and I'll listen, but then I got something to say. Mm, yeah, do your fire breaks, man, every day. Just that little boom. And let them know you love them. Let them know you love them. See, we're just bad. We we want the sandwich and a glass of milk. They're more sophisticated than us. They're smarter than us. Um, the things that attract women to you when before you're married is you're a man's man. You're funny. You're good looking. You got... 
these things going for you that just really, they really like. And when you're married and that gear starts turning, they slowly start breaking that away. They take everything that they liked about you and he's workable. I can mold him. I can change him. Just cave in. Just do it. You know, lay in your back. Let him scratch your belly. You know, don't be that vicious animal. Yeah, I'm telling you. Yeah, and I don't give marital advice. You can see why, don't you? Probably isn't very good. Uh, okay, I'm going to raise this just a little more. Cause I don't feel like this float... And that is high as heck. But I'm going to try it right there and see what that does. You know what the problem is? I'm out of chainsaw gas. I'm going to have to pull something out of a dirt bike. But I'm going to try it right there. I'm going to get this all fixed if it kills me. It just might. But I think that's what I'm down to is just this. Interesting little deal. Okay. I probably should have said that about, you know. Boy, when that guy started hollering at that girl and he going to teach her how to be a married woman. Ho, 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 ho. I was like, whoa, dude, you back up. You are not on solid ground. You know what was funny? When he, she shut up. He thought he won that argument. They had, you believe that he thought he won that argument. Women, you got to get a kick out of this. Love your man. Just love him. You're going to only change him so much. Men don't want to change women. You know what men want? They want them to remain exactly the same. They, they, we, like, we like that. We like to know where we're at. Um, I'm not going to say women are chaotic. They're just way more intense than men are. And I want to say something. If you got little kids, you may want to distract them for a second. But I don't buy this PMS thing. Yeah, I know all about that. But I don't go through that. Yeah, thank God. Them days are done. Um... PMS is no excuse. Yeah, Cohen's mom used to tell me, well, you know what I get like before all that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know exactly what you get like. Women don't get PMS. That's not what it is. They get power surges. Oh, yeah. Men, just know this. And women, you know, you women can just Stop just a second and look at it from a man's point of view. You'd understand. But you know what you're not capable of? Looking at it from a man's point of view. Oh, hell no. I don't like what this man's saying right now. Oh, no. I'm sorry, but I'm going to tell you that's the way it is. You can't see our point of view. We can't see yours very good. That's why you meet in the middle. And I'll tell you what one thing never do. Don't go, mad, go to bed mad at each other. No, don't do it. And, uh, just love each other. Respect each other. That's about the best I can tell you, honestly. It, uh, some, some relationships don't work. They just don't for whatever reason. It's because there's somebody's doing all the taking, and the other one's doing all the giving. Well, guess what? That don't work. You see me there? Drop that screw, didn't you? You know where that went, don't you? Right on the floor. I need a freaking bib. Oh, there it is. I got a few more things to show you. I really thought what I was going to end up doing 
is just going ahead and putting that other carb on. Uh, this carb cleans the whistle, it really is. But I'm going to have to try this and just see where I'm at. No big deal. Okay. You want to get that real good line. You go to these hobby shops. This is where they get this stuff. Uh, this is that fuel line. And uh, I think this will work on the 371, 372s and stuff like that. Anything that takes that diameter smooth line don't have a big barrel on it. I use this uh, for impulse. This is the stuff that once you push it on, don't come off. Gasoline, alcohol, nitromethane, nothing eats this. Nothing makes it swell. And you can't really tell by looking at it, but it's really quite, it's firm but pliable. And this stuff will stretch right over quite a, a large nipple or a smooth pipe, either one. Um, I used to get this from a local chainsaw dealer. And I never knew where he got it from, but the minute I seen it, you get this in all different colors, even pink if you want to. Yeah, these hobby shops with RC cars, that's where you get this good stuff. Now, we got us some new picks. We went to Harbor Freight, and there's a few of their things I really kind of like. Um, these picks, like I use, yeah, Colin got me these. And I got a nice set of these. Uh for them cylinders that are bolted on too damn tight. Uh, so I ain't got to work so hard with my uh, my wrist get hurt pretty bad some days. But I'm going to show you the cream of the crop. Colin got me this. Magnetic tray. It comes with its own sun visor. I think that's so if you toss your parts halfway across the room, it bounces off them and goes in the tray. But... It, yeah, the rubber don't stick to it. But it holds your nuts and bolts. You know what the problem is? Is you get it out of your bench and you got all your bolts. Next thing you know, you're like, everything's sticking to it. It's like, ow. Oh, dang. Where'd that go? And you set it down somewhere else. You get a whole bunch of stuff come at it from this area. I'd really like it right here. Right? Right in front of me. Right here. Maybe it would catch stuff that drop. That's a, That'd be a great idea. Okay, we're about ready to put this carburetor back on. Uh, I wanted today's video to be about running saws, but we're gonna we're gonna get this straightened out, even if it kills me. And I'm gonna get this on, and it's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be awesome, and I can't wait. You know, the one thing with these here is they got a little sleeve that goes in them intakes i have yet on these 660s be able to use that sleeve and it really could be the thing that there's a tiny little air nah there ain't an air leak there i'll tell you why i know that the darn thing idles perfect nothing wrong with that so we're gonna get this put back together I'm going to locate some fuel. We got to take the dirt bikes out. We ain't done that in a while. We've been quite busy, guys. I mean, it, we're, it, uh, uh, I still got problems with my one ton. I need to put rear brakes on it, at least, if not more. And uh, we'll get her done. Trying to get a few of these saws done i got i got several that uh i'd really like them i just i just really need them done honestly i, I really do uh i'm not going to be taking saws I, I quite honestly um if i've already told you i would i will but i, I really need a break from some of this because it's not that i'm tired of it, it it's the fact that I got some way cool builds. We haven't got to our turbo saw. I started that, didn't finish. I uh, decided against using the 153 because that went in a total different direction. Um, the 153 project, we're doing some pretty cool stuff too. I got to have time to do that. 
plus, uh, we started that junkyard dog thing. I don't know what prompted me to do that. I haven't done that kind of stuff in quite a long time. Want to get that finished up. I got a couple 66 mags that really, really like to get built. I got my original 44 apart, and I'd like to get that darn thing finished up, and this darn thing is really uh, uh, going to be a problem if I ain't careful. Normally that just stays right in there, but it don't want to this time. So I know what's got to be done. Okay. There we go. Looking good. All I gotta do is get that spring in the thing. So, yeah, for a while, we're just not gonna be taking saws. Uh, I'll tell you what I'm looking for. By the time I said it in this video, I'll probably have missed most of you guys, but I'm looking for a 390 Husky. If one of you got one you want to sell, I need something that's buildable, okay? Let me know. Okay, see you later. Goodbye.